Hi, I'm Amy Sisla, Stratus' Senior Application Engineer for Manufacturing Solutions. I'd like to show you the benefits of using FDM 3D printing technology for making CMM fixtures, and then briefly show you the key steps in designing them. A CMM, or coordinate measuring machine, is an essential part of the manufacturing quality process. It's used to monitor production quality on manufactured parts to ensure they meet design specs. One of the main elements of a CMM operation is the tooling used to hold the parts during the measurement process. In many cases, a combination of clamps, V-blocks, and surface plates are used to fixture the parts that have to be measured. The problem is that these tools have to be set up for every part being measured. It's sort of a one-size-fits-all scenario. Depending on the part's geometry, the fixturing is not always optimal and it takes time to set up and take down again. Custom machine fixtures can be made from tool steel, but they're very expensive, have long lead times, and can tie up your CNC machines that could otherwise be used for value-added production. And then the problem is compounded the more parts you have to inspect. A better way would be to 3D print them instead. By 3D printing them with FDM technology, you can make customized CMM fixtures faster and for much less cost than traditionally machined fixtures. FDM technology uses a broad range of polymers, each with its own unique capabilities. Carbon fiber filled ABS and nylon provide strength and stiffness, whereas materials like ASA offer temperature stability and resistance to UV light. If you need chemical resistance, high performance polymers like PEC based Intero are also available. Complex shapes are also easily achieved with 3D printing. You can design CMM fixtures so parts can be oriented in a way that's best for measuring a variety of features in a single setup. You can also incorporate additional hardware like magnets and other retention features to hold fixtures in place during measurement. 3D printed CMM fixtures are typically cheaper and faster to make. One of our customers produced fixtures in 20 hours versus the typical four to six week timeframe. They also lowered the cost on a particular application from $2,700 to just $270. Another customer saved 93% in lead time and 80% in cost when using FDM CMM fixtures versus machining them. Making CMM fixtures using FDM technology can truly have a positive bottom line impact for you. Here are the key steps involved in designing a typical CMM fixture. First, design or download a CAD model of the part that you're going to measure. In your CAD program of choice, designate a plane and an origin point as the base of the fixture. It is often worth having at least one 90 degree squared corner on the fixture that can be probed as the origin point for the initial fixture alignment. Decide the best orientation to hold the part to get the most critical measurement points. The more measurement points you can get in one position, the less fixtures you'll need and the less time you'll spend reorienting the part. Consider here the trade-off between easy fixture alignment for quick CMM usage, but also keeping the fixture as small as possible in Z height. The taller the part, the longer it's going to take to print. In CAD, offset the surface of the part you're measuring a small distance, about a half a millimeter. This is the surface your part lays on. You can keep it as one surface or divide it into pads that support the part at various points. Design support structures between the offset part surface and the base plane. Remember to use DFAM principles. By staying under the self-supporting angle, you will eliminate the need for support material, speeding up printing and post-processing. If you are going to use magnets or screws to secure the fixture during measurement, add the appropriate holes in CAD. Compression limiters or heat set inserts can reinforce holes to give the fixture a long life. The resulting geometry can be saved and the CAD file can be imported directly into GrabCAD print. Orient any critical surfaces so they face the top for printing. The infill of the part can be adjusted from solid to sparse to save material and time. Select the material and click print. The part will automatically be sent to the printer so an operator can start it at the printer with the press of a button. Once the print job is complete, take the parts from the build substrate remove the support structure, and then the parts are ready for use. 3D printing CMM fixtures with FDM technology isn't difficult and offers multiple benefits over making them with traditional methods. To learn more about the application or other 3D printing manufacturing solutions, contact your Stratasys representative or visit stratasys.com. Thanks for watching.